Okay, I've had a few questions about the uh, dial indicator that I've put on my Precision Matthews uh, 1340. Um, I can't take credit for this. This is actually a Tom Griffin inspired idea. He has a Hardinge uh, lathe and on some of his videos you can see him using this uh, soft stop dial indicator. I had one on my previous lathe but it actually had gone across the bed and clamped underneath and then it just had a one inch tr uh, travel dial indicator that goes on the end with a thumb screw. It worked good. I used it quite a bit. The problem was is you had a one inch range there. Anything more than that you had to loosen two socket head cap screws moving along the bed. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal, but I found that sometimes if I just had a quick little thing to machine, it was a little more uh, uh, time consuming, a little more cumbersome to use than I would like. So I was watching one of Tom's videos uh, while I was waiting for my lathe to show up, and I really was intrigued by the uh, Hardinge. I, be I believe it was an accessory on his lathe. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't know. I don't uh, know if he made that or if that was an accessory. I'm pretty sure he said it was an accessory, but I can't remember. But anyway. Um, I got looking around when I got my lathe on how to mount one, and there's a couple of bolts, socket head cap screws, I believe there's 6x1.0 thread pitch that hold the uh, cover on here by down by your uh, quick change gearbox. What I did is I just machined a little block with a thumb screw, I believe this is a quarter 20 thumb screw, I just got from McMaster Car, and I took a piece of 3 8 inch, um, just took a piece of 3 8 inch 01 drill rod put it up in the mill, machined a flat on it, um, just so that it, it kind of orientates it so when that is, is uh, tightened down, that the gauge is actually somewhat, um, tighten it down here, you can see it, and I, I positioned it to where it was angled for my, uh, for my height, so now whenever that thumb screw is tightened down on that flat, it automatically orientates that um, dial indicator to where I can see it straight on, I don't catch the glare from my light, and nothing like that bothers me. So I can move my carriage up into position and face off and then say I want to just loosen that thumb screw, come in, touch off on the carriage, set my zero, back it off. I want to, if I need to part the tool off or if I need to come in so many thousandths and uh, machine a flat or machine grooves, you can come in so many 250 boom, put a mark, come in another 250, boom, put, go in and put grooves like for foot pegs or something like that. Uh, if you need to come in further, what I've done actually too is come in so far, stop it, we reposition it, zero it out. Um, I've actually come in the opposite way, come up to a shoulder, machine into a shoulder, and so you need to machine apart so many thousands off that shoulder, you can run out the opposite direction as well. And all I basically, all it is is it's just a piece of, I believe this is half inch uh, by probably three quarter, yeah, it's set about seven eighths of an inch by half inch. Um, it has a countersunk socket head cap screw. I just got a longer six by one millimeter uh, socket head screw to go into that box. It holds it on there nice and parallel with the machine, parallel with the bed, so it fits exactly perpendicular on the apron on the carriage here. And again, all it is is a uh, 01 drill rod. And then I just machine a flat on the back with a socket head cap screw to hold it, machine a flat along there, and uh, ream to hold so it was fairly close to size, there's no slopping under anything, boom right there. When I don't use it, you can just position it down out of the way so I, I kind of keep the gauge facing down away a little bit, just so I'll keep oil and, and uh, oil and any chips off of it, but it's quick, it's simple, it's, it's very handy. I, I, I use my other one on my other lathe uh, uh, quite a bit, but nothing like I do this one. It's so quick and simple to just move, tighten that thumb screw, boom, you're right there. So I uh, hope that answered any questions. Um, again, I just had a couple questions on what I, if this was, if this, if I bought this with the lathe or what this was, so uh, I just figured I'd answer it. And again, I can't take credit for it. This is a, uh, I got this idea from Tom Griffin on his Hardinge, so. I uh, hope that answers your questions. If anybody has any more, feel free to ask. Thanks.